For the McKinney North Bulldogs, it's a bye week in football, so we're going to be joined instead by our volleyball coach at McKinney North, Shannon Alvarado, and get a little catch up on how the volleyball team's been doing this year. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thanks today. for having us. So before the season even starts, you have the summer, and you know mm -hmm. this is court volleyball, so you're not outside in the warm heat. So what are your players doing to prepare for the upcoming season? A lot of our girls did performance course this summer, which was huge. We had the highest numbers that we've ever done with that, so I think that was a good step for us. And then um, quite a few of our girls actually go and play beach volleyball just because just they love the sport and they just want to play. And so anytime they can touch a volleyball, it always helps us out when we start in August on the court. Do you think playing beach volleyball will help or hurt your court game at all? No, I mean, beach volleyball is a lot of read, and, you know, timing-wise, the Olympics, I think a lot of people watch beach volleyball, so that helped uh, kind of bring a little light to the, to the sport. Uh, but beach volleyball, you play with two players instead of a six, so you have to read a lot. It's a lot more court, more, more court management, um, and so it just enhances the skill of reading hitters and looking at the other side and knowing how to score points. So it actually is a benefit to train, and then obviously the sand is a resistance, so people who train in sand are quicker when they get to the court. Yeah, there was that thing called the Olympics this yeah, summer that yeah, happened. Yeah. How much of that did your players watch and what did they learn from it? I think our girls watched pretty much every night. They watched the, the men's court, the men's beach, the, the women's court, and then the women's beach. And, um, you know, everybody likes an underdog. And then surprisingly, I think Carrie Walsh and, and Misty May proved that no one should ever underestimate the ability that they have. But um, I think our kids just learned in watching, you know, what hard work can do, but just to love the game and play hard for the game. and. Um, that it can be fun and it's exciting. You know, Hugh McCutcheon had that nice button next to him where he could call the timeout and it would light up during the Olympics and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you wish that you had that button with you? Uh, sometimes I do, and then other times, um, you know, it's, it's kind of part of the game as far as when you call your timeouts. And um, our gyms aren't quite as loud and probably big as, as what the Olympic arena is. So our, our kind of eye contact and communication is usually pretty good with the officials. So. I don't know if I'd want to be slamming that button in the middle of a, of a heated timeout, so it'd probably be a good thing <laughs> that we don't have it. So you go into your non-district games, and there's a lot of tournaments in, mm -hmm. in volleyball where you get to have a lot of games in a quick succession. Um, what are some of the things that you prepare going into those tournament mentalities? For us, when we go into tournaments, it's a lot of evaluation, like which group is working together well, who has connections, um, what are some of our weaknesses that we need to improve on, um, you know, when you first start, it, it's so fast. We, we have tryouts, and then three days later, we're, we're in a scrimmage, and then that next Tuesday, we're playing. And so there's not a lot of time to train, um, you know, new players or, or kind of get everybody in. So you're first just kind of looking at what are your strengths, and then from your strengths, what can we improve on, and then our weaknesses, what do we need to improve on, and then trying to mesh all those together in, in three weeks where you're just playing, 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 and not so much practicing. So um, for us, our focus was really to try to use those returning players as kind of leaders and making sure that those newer players that are to varsity that kind of understand what needs to happen for us to be successful. Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the leaders on your team. Mm -hmm. You know, who are they and, you know, what have they done well as far as in the locker room and on the court, you know, to lead your team? We have four seniors this year. Um, Allison Camp comes with probably the most game experience at McKinney North. Lexi Wilson um, was a transfer to us last year and played JV because of UIL. Um, and then we have Viona Vernici, who's been in the program for four years, and Megan Brem, who's been in the, four, the program for four years. So three out of our four seniors have, have been at McKinney North and, and kind of know the expectations of what McKinney North volleyball is. Um, Lexi just kind of brings this fun, lighthearted passion. She's just so passionate when she plays. And Viono just brings a really intense work ethic. Um, she will outwork anyone, and where she lacks maybe in skills, she works twice as hard to stay competitive. Um, Megan just brings some great uh, vocal leadership. You know, she, she can talk through difficult times. She can help players on the court, but also off the court. And Camp just kind of brings in um, a presence in the locker room as far as someone that they can go talk to, but on the court she brings experience. So you take all four of those and, and we've got some really good role models as far as what those younger players need to know other than just this is where you play on a court, but the other aspects that they can bring into the game. One of the things about volleyball <laughs> is that there are always runs in the game. You know, mm -hmm. some team can go on an eight-point run and it can go against you at the same time. Yeah. What do you do as far as coaching your players of how to handle both when you're down against an opponent that's going on a run like that right. and when you're on a run? 
Uh, momentum is huge in volleyball. Uh, literally one minute you look up and you're up 14 to two and the next minute you look up and it's 15, 14 and they've passed you up and you've gone, what happened? Um, so focusing on one ball at one time instead of we got to get to 25, there's no ball that gets you to 25. It's a series of plays that gets you there. Um, that kind of helps limits your, t your runs. Um, you know, we use substitution sometimes to slow the game down a little bit, you know, just to make that opponent stop for a second um, and, and kind of think about what they're doing and, and break their routine, which sometimes helps for us. And so our girls are aware of that. Um, but when we're pushing points, defense is really the big thing. Um, and with side out, the game's changed because um, side out ball, it was only serve and defense that scored you points. Now it's a rally score, so everything scores you a point. Um, and so we really have to focus on first ball at the net can score us a point versus having to play out those points. Um, so it's just training them that, you know, every ball is important. There is no next ball that's going to get it done. It's, it's each and every ball. And then also to try to keep, for the momentum side of it, keep the whatever chemistry going. So if it's upbeat and positive and going, then you got to keep it out there, even if points are being ran. But if it's a really quiet, you've got to put somebody else in there that's going to bring back that focus and, and kind of lift them back up a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about the district. So far, you've played three district games. Mm -hmm. You lost your first two, uh, tied one against Greenville, and then you lost to Roy City, and then you got a big win recently against Wiley East. We did. It was, um, it was big. Greenville was a, was a disappointing loss just because we, we could have played better and finished that. Um, we fought at times against Greenville and <clears throat> just couldn't get over the hump. We just didn't have that ability. Um, Roy City was kind of the same situation. Roy City's super athletic, and you know they came to play, and I think we came to show up a little bit. And so we, we've learned from that when we went to Wiley East. And last year, um, in the 2011 season, we went to Wiley East. We, we won the first two sets and then lost the next three, which was heartbreaking for our girls. Um, we just didn't make the adjustments we needed to. And you know this year, we dropped the first set, came back, won the next two sets. We're down in the, in the fourth set, you know, like 14 to 6, I mean, an insane amount, and end up losing at 26, 24. So we fought, we just fought late. Um, but what I was really probably most proud of, of the entire team is that in that fifth set, you could just see in their eyes that, that it was going to be done, like we're going to do this. And so that was exciting for us to see, and it was exciting to be a part of, and it was just, it was a, you could almost see the relief, like, okay, yes, we can do this. You know, it is a new beginning. We can do this. We can make a difference. And um, everybody was key in that victory. I mean, we won the JV matches, we won the ninth grade match, so I mean, it was, it was a good win for McKinney North. Yeah, it definitely helps to get, you know, such a good district win. You know, you have a tough district, you're going to play Lovejoy tonight. That's a difficult game, and then you have Denison at the end of the week on Friday. Yeah, we kind of see the two extremes. You know, Denison has a new coach, and so she's coming in and, and trying to implement her new things, and Lovejoy's been there for a while, and he's, you know, Coach Mitchell's done some fantastic jobs at Lovejoy, and I think any time you talk about state championship, Lovejoy comes in the mix somewhere. Um, but what's important for us is that we continue to play great ball, and that at the end of the day, the score is the score is, but if we're playing the right kind of volleyball, then it's going to be a great competitive match, and that's, that's what we need to keep doing, especially going into Denison and into the rest of our district, is we need to make sure that we're playing better ball every night that we take the court. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. And as far as the volleyball goes, they're going to play Lovejoy tonight, and then Denison on Friday, and then for the rest of the year, it'll be more district games and hopefully some playoff action for we Lady like Bulldogs. That. Yes. And that will wrap things up for this edition of Sports Talk. We want to thank Jeff Smith, Shannon Alvarado, and Don Drake for joining us today on the show. Remember that on Friday, McKinney is on the road to play North Garland. Boyd will play at Ron Post Stadium against Rockwall. And the North Bulldogs have a week off before their district opener against Sherman. The Lady Bulldogs volleyball team will host Denison on Friday, so be sure not to miss that important district clash. For everyone here at Sports Talk, I'm Tyler Sloan. We'll see you next time.